um, remove the words. So we are going to be doing the random drawing section. So I will get the random number generator up and running. Um, we are starting to run out of words, well, not necessarily run out, but we are starting to have more crossed out. So it may be possible that we'll have a lot of um, overlap numbers that I have to redo, but we are going to get the first number. That number is 24. Thankfully, we have not done this before. It is the word coffee. Um, our second number is going to be the number six. Six has been used before. We have the number 15. 15 has been used before. We have the number 21. 21 has been used before. As I mentioned, this might happen. We have the number 23. 23 has been used before. We have the number 20. 20 has been used before. <laughs> we have the number 12. 12 has not been used before. It is the verb undress. Um, and then our adjective slash adverb, our first number is 22, which has not been used before, thankfully, and that is the adjective chubby. So we have uh, coffee, undress, and chubby. Um, I am <laughs> going to try and tiptoe uh, on, on the safe side for this. Don't want to make any um, offensive gestures in terms of my drawing, uh, but we do need to accommodate for all of the current um, random words that have been selected. So we do need to brainstorm a little bit on how we're going to tackle this uh, this task. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I know that we do well. You know, I, I think that um, we can we we can probably uh, do this fairly easily. So let's say we had some person of unspecified gender in a somewhat pear shape, uh, and they have uh, recently consumed. A, a large quantity of the uh, dark roasted brew. Um, they are, uh, so you can see that there are some empty cups here on the table. Um, and as you may know, um, if perhaps these were uh, frappes or some sort of uh, sugary drink and that would not necessarily do too well for the waistline um, so um, but I, I'm pretty sure even like dark coffee if you drink a lot of it probably not too good for you um, I do have somewhat of a problem with caffeine although I don't like coffee coffee uh, is not one that is on my taste palate um, my sister is actually uh, I, I wouldn't say allergic to caffeine. Um, she has uh, some problems with uh, her uh, cardiovascular system reacting uh, quite rapidly to caffeination. Uh, but uh, I probably have similar problems. I just liked Mountain Dew too much. Um, so just imagine that these are coffee cups. And then this is like the inside of the cup, and this is the bottom of the cup. So I'm going to differentiate with that. Um, and maybe there's a little bit left over spilling out of this cup here. But um, as we mentioned, we have some non-gender specified humanoid figure that is now... Um, Maybe they have some hair. And other humanoid facial features, including ears. Um, but they have uh, consumed a large quantity um, of 
uh, coffee, and they are now attempting to remove their clothing. Um, now, uh, I would imagine that if there were a strange situation where um, one were to keep the same uh, set of clothing on for a long period of time, over which, uh, over the course of which they were to consume a large uh, quantity of said brown liquid, um, it would be quite difficult for them to remove their clothing. Um, so if we think of, I'm trying to, like a sleeve there. I'm not sure how this anatomy is working, but, you know, maybe the coffee has done something strange. Um, so they would have gained some uh, width. Um, this is going to have, uh, so this dw dx is greater than zero it's increasing um, so as they attempt to move their shirt up and over their head uh, they may find that there is some difficulty um, even if they are in some sort of uh, Dr. Eggman like mech suit that I will somehow turn into jeans which I mean to be honest jeans are difficult to get on in the first place um, yeah I'm gonna remove those lines um, so it's starting to get to where I was expecting. Um, we're going to pick a neutral skin color, um, perhaps blue. And uh, so the, now we have created a Smurf, and we will just kind of roll with it. Um, sorry if that's offensive to anybody who is actually a Smurf. Um, uh, what am I missing here and not closed down here and perhaps there but we will assume the rest is good to go and so as I mentioned they are attempting to move this shirt up over their head but we're not sure if that is going to work Uh, let me make some adjustments to improve the ambiguity. Um, so I think that we are actually at a good point uh, in the picture, and I have thoroughly explained the coffee, the chubby, and the undress. Uh, so if coffee has made you chubby, you will have some difficulty undressing. And I guess that's what we're going for. So uh, that is going to be it for today. Uh, perhaps we can put some cool lavender in the background just to make it pop. Um, but that is the full picture. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the topics for today. Um, I am speaking with uh, someone about it, having a guest stream in the future. Um, not sure when exactly that will happen, but it should be on a Saturday, assuming that I can keep up the normal schedule. Um, I'm also trying to get back into the swing of things with tax, but as you may know, I do have my classes that I'm currently working on right now. Um, so things are going to get even more and more hectic as the semester uh, goes on. Uh, so thanks for sticking with me if you have been for all these years and uh, I'm sure I'll power through it somehow. So thank you for watching and goodbye.